Can we talk about your uh, your motorcycle accident and the fact that you died for two hours? You were dead for two hours, correct? Did you go to heaven? Did you Do you know what heaven looks like? I know what it feels like because I have been in the spiritual zone, in the supernatural, surrounded by angels. And my essence was about 12 inches long and about a quarter of an inch wide. And that is your soul. And your soul is housed in the column of your spine. So I went off. I'm a Hardy Davidson, going 40 miles an hour without a helmet, hit head first into a curb, then my pelvis hit. Split my skull on the right side, knocked a hole in as big as a 50 cent piece. They took bones out of my pelvis to fill the hole. I got a dent there. It was like playing golf on the wrong course. You know, poof, golf ball hit me. Anyway, it was a beautiful experience of understanding something that I wouldn't have understood without having the accident. So I thought, hey, I'm going to do something about this. So I went to Washington, and I was John McCain, God bless you, John McCain, Bill Frist, Orrin Hatch, Ted Kennedy, and talked to them about what happened to my head. And I said, we have to create something. And so I signed, <coughs> excuse me, I signed a piece of paper, and that was the advocate statement that created the Traumatic Brain Injury Act that President Clinton signed in 1996. So the motorcycle accident gave me a gift to help save others and wear your helmet. Yeah. That's fantastic. Interesting. I've, I've heard yay, yay. some people, they go through an experience like that. Obviously, every day is a gift after that, after you come back from an experience where you, you come so close to death. Or in your case, you, you feel heaven. Uh, was there anything that you when, you, when you came back to, when you started going through your rehabilitation process, was there any skill or anything that you were able to do after the accident that you weren't able to do before the accident? Everything was different in the way I saw life and the way I felt it. And you know what a deja vu is? A deja vu is when your mind picks up something before your brain does. Then when your brain picks it up, it's like, I've been here before. This has happened before. I had what's called, what I call, bougie days. And that's something I saw that I'd known I'd seen before, but it was like the first time I was seeing it. A brand new opening to a brand new way of life. Thank God for the accident. And I went and we did the Traumatic Brain Injury Act. Mm -hmm. Yay! Now I'm working on making the helmet law mandatory in every state in the union because that computer that sits on our neck controls our whole corporate body being emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically. Mm -hmm. Without the computer, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Absolutely.